Okay, now we're doing review of the page 105 and then page 300 in the textbook. All right, describe as many transformations as you can to move the image. Well, we could do, um, okay, a reflection like this does not work. That's not gonna be an option. However, we could do a rotation 180 degrees around point G. Or, so it doesn't matter which way we say uh, counterclockwise or clockwise, right? Or we could say we've done a translation. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, two down. So I would say um, translation, translation four right, and two down okay those are really the only two options that you have for that one okay the next one is we're doing a um a rotation clockwise around vertex l okay so vertex l is this guy and we're doing a rotation 180 degrees clockwise so i'm going to figure out how far away j is one two three four five it's going to go this way one, two, three, four, five. So here is going to be J prime. Okay. All right. Then I can do the same thing with K prime. K prime is one, two, three, and then one. So it's going to go one, two, three. Is that right? Yeah. And then one. K prime. Okay. Ah. And then I can just figure out that M prime is the same distance away, M prime, and then my L stays as is. Okay, there you go. That's what it should look like. So then you had to write the coordinates, and I think I asked only for J, which would be eight, uh, right? You go across eight, and then you go up four, eight comma four, okay? Um, write the coordinates of the verti write the coordinates of each vertex, write the coordinate. Oh, the image. Okay, I only actually wanted to know this one. Okay, cool. And then you didn't have to do the next one. All right, so that was that. Um, okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, now the next one was this one. Okay, we had to do this stuff here. Oh, what did I do? I started already. Okay. Um, okay, so here we go. All right, so we have to describe as many transformations as we could. All right, so, um, okay, so it could have moved, it could have done a 180 degree rotation, okay, or it could have done a one, two, and then, so that's two to the right, and one, two, three, four, up. Tr uh, translation. Okay, translation. All right, those are those ones. Next one is, um, okay, you need to do a translation. I'm going to skip this one. I'm just going to show you the bottom one just to save a little bit of time. Okay, because it's the same thing. It's just like this one actually just shows it. Okay, so... Um, all right, you have to do a translation, then you have to do a reflection, then you have to do a rotation. Okay, so let's just do, okay, we'll do them each quickly. So translation, two units um, up, and then three units right. Okay, so I'm going to take my S, I'm going to go up, one, two, and then I'm going to go right, one, two, three, S prime. Then I'm not going to do this for each of them, I'm just going to figure out how far away each of them are. So R is two down. Okay, T is one up and one over. S is, U is directly in line, but one, two, three, four over. One, two, three, four over, U prime. And then V is, let's see, it's three down from U and then one in. So here, okay, now connect like that. Okay, cool. Next one, I'm just gonna use a different color. Okay. 
Alrighty, so now we're going to do a reflection through vertical line at the horizontal axis of 5. Okay, so horizontal axis of 5 is here, and it's a vertical line. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to do a reflection around that. Okay, so my S is here. That means my S is going to be here, S prime. And then my t is 1 away, t prime. My r is 2 away, so my r is going to be here. My v is 1 away, so my v is going to be here. And then my u is 2 away, so my u is going to be here, u prime. Whoa, look at this. Cool, that's reflected. Neat. Okay, now the last one was a rotation 180, 90 degrees clockwise around P. Okay, now then I would have asked you questions um, related to this on Seesaw, or sorry, related to this, so you just had to like figure out what the coordinates were. Okay, now. Um, okay, so now we're going to do a rotation around clockwise around P. Okay, I'm just going to erase this. It's going to keep it a little bit easier. Okay, so clockwise. Um, okay, sorry. Okay. Mm, okay. Sorry, okay, sorry. I was just having to actually post your other lesson. <laughs> okay, so clockwise around P. All right, so here is P, and then we're going clockwise. Oh, counterclockwise. Okay, so I'm going to use S here, and then here. Counterclockwise is going to go, this would be, that would be 90 degrees. This would be 180 degrees. This would be um, 720, or it would be counter, wait, I did that wrong counterclockwise is just here like this okay s prime all right next one is t prime so i'm going to go in two up two counterclockwise is going to go this way so it's going to go up two in two so here t prime Yep. Okay. Then R is going to be here and here. So it's going to go this way, here and here. So it's going to be R prime. Jeez. Okay. And then T goes 2 and 2. So it's going to go. Um, oh, I did T. Whoops. <laughs> ah! Okay. Did I do that just right now? Oh, that's S. Oh my goodness. Okay, S. Wait, S went here and here. So that's, this is S. Ah! S prime. Okay. Oh, I just did R. <laughs> this is R. Okay. T. I did T. Okay, now okay. Ah, okay, now I'm gonna do U. So U goes one, two, three, four, and then one. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four, and then one. So U prime over here. Okay, V. One, two, one, two, three, four. So one, two, one, two, three, four. V prime. Whew! I feel like I just erased something that I shouldn't have. This is R, I think. Okay. All right. Whoa! That was hard, but that was it. Okay, that is literally as hard as it's going to get, being able to do something along those lines. So then those are the coordinates. So whatever coordinate I would have asked for, then ta-da, that's what you'd write in. Okay, poof, good.